Hi Libra, this is May 2018. I know we're halfway into May, I'm sorry I got sick, so these are a little late, but um, we are going to look at your general theme for the month. What's up with your money, your career, how other people will make your month better, how they'll kind of fuck it up a little for you, and then spiritually, what can you do to ensure the happiest month ever, and then what is your power crystal of the month? So let's get started. I keep forgetting to mention this, but for those of you who um, don't know, if you go to my website, and there's like a link in the description box below, you can sign up to win a free reading every month. And so like you just sign up once and you're automatically in the drawing forever style. And so I just wanted to let you know. Okay, Libra, your theme for the month is... Remember that we are human beings, okay? We are um, often a little bit confused, right? Like, okay, what am I going to do? Like, I'm having this existential crisis. Like, who am I? Like, what is my job? Like, we are human beings, not human doings, okay? It's not so much about what do I have to do to, like, blah, 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 blah. We need to be a little bit more focused on mindfulness as Libras, Okay. And I say we like I have Libra in my chart, but I don't. <laughs> so, sorry. Um, but that's what you got to do, okay? Focus on the moment, on the beingness. And so I'm wondering why. And they're saying because like with um, all of these new ideas and things that you're trying to do in order to have more balance in your life with a one and a six, and then that turns into a seven, like in expanding those, looking for like a better balance, like, you know, a happier lifestyle, better work balance, whatever, more health. Um, you're, you're kind of like segmenting your life a little bit too much and um, into like, okay, this is gym time. Like, this is kid time. Like, this is this, this is this, this is this. And you're compartmentalizing things, and it's not all going to blend well, and you're not going to feel well as a result, okay? So you think that you're taking steps in the right direction when really you just need to chill the fuck out. So um, that's our theme. <laughs> What's up with your money? Whoa. And they say as far as money goes, new ideas for expanding whatever it is that you're doing um, will pay off for you. Keep that positive focus, and it will pay off quickly. Fantastic. Uh, what else do we need to know about money? And they're saying, you know, whatever kind of imbalance that you've had, um, the things that you didn't want that seemed unstable, you're moving past that so long as you're able to stay in a positive high vibration of hope. They're saying that movement choices and decisions are very important for you, again, with the number two. They, this month, are going to predict or kind of set the tone for the rest of the year. So it's like, okay, which door am I going to walk through here? And um, how am I going to feel about that door? So if you have any fear, this could go a very horrible way for you. But you want to stay as positive as you can with your new ideas for expanding anything. Um, stay really positive-minded and just kind of go, you know what? I know this is going to work because this is a really great idea. And then you should see results very quickly for you. What's going on in regards to career? And so many people have this. There must be something astrologically going on where when it comes to career with a number nine, you have to think about what goal it is you want to achieve and read up on it, learn, study, whether that is through watching YouTube videos, whether that is like an actual certification exam that you take, um, coaching, who knows what. But a lot of you have this this month. Um, Cancer had it. Leo had it. I think a couple other signs had it. This is very important because it will put you in the direction of the area you want to go in. And so it's saying, yes, it's a challenge to devote time and energy to that, okay? Okay. And that might be a part of the reason why you're trying to segment your life, making time to study, right? But they're saying like all of these obstacles and challenges, they will be overcome. They are doable and it will massively benefit you. So how are other people going to help you in the month of May? And it says partnerships and alliances are going to be very important and they will be spiritually placed into your life. So if it feels right, if it's like, oh, what an awesome coincidence that I just happened to meet somebody who can help me on this path. There is no such thing as coincidence. Um, God, spirit, angels, whoever, the universe, 
put them in your path for a specific reason. So trust that, okay? Now, how will people potentially ruin your your uh, month? And what it's saying is, again, the same idea of disruption. Like, it's almost like the Seven of Cups card in the traditional writer weight tarot where it's like your energy is scattered everywhere and you can't quite figure out what is the most important thing to focus on. Other people might kind of distract you from staying focused on the things you need to focus on. So if I were you, I would be mindful and present like what feels like the most important thing to me right now. And if you can't decide, I would apply that towards learning development study. Okay, because that will be the biggest benefit for you in the month of May. So spiritually, where should you apply your focus in order to have the happiest May ever? And they're saying yoga will be very beneficial for a lot of you. Not only will it release like a lot of emotional stuff for you, but it'll help your body to feel better. And so, you know, if one of those things that you're segmenting your time into is exercise, not only are you taking care of your spiritual self, your emotional self, but then also your physical self, it's like a three for one, which gives you a lot more time to do other things. And that could just be like a five minute video that you watch on YouTube in the morning so that you don't have to make that time to go to the gym or whatever. Now, your power crystal of the month is Chrysoscola. Now, I know it's a mouthful, isn't it? Um, if you want to learn more about it, there's a link in the description box that'll tell you um, on my website all about it. But anyway, point is, this helps you with our emotional awareness. This is going to help you with healing and coming into like stable energies, okay? Feeling really confident and good about where you are. It helps you with self-awareness, kind of like knowing your limits, helping you to set goals and then kind of striving towards those. And so with this disruption energy, this will be very, very helpful. It balances out all of your chakra energies. It balances out um, your aura. It harmonizes groups and environments. So it kind of gets people in the same boat as you to help you to achieve your goals. Um, it fights infections. It does a lot of shit. So anyway, this is your power crystal of the month in combination to these other things um, in order to manifest the best May possible. Love and light. Thanks so much for watching this video and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20-minute video uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!